Hi everybody, this is Father Sean of the North Kerry Pastoral Area and welcome to the Sunday message for the 17th Sunday of the year and it's St. Matthew's Gospel. Jesus said to the crowds, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy sells everything he owns and buys the field. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is our treasure. That's a parable about a man who has, who has found treasure. He sells everything so that he can buy the field and have the treasure. Jesus, who is our friend, our confidant, our saviour, Jesus stands by us and I, we know that. It's a lovely description of him. He's the treasure in our lives. But the challenge put out in the parable, there's always a challenge in the parable, is that the person in the parable goes off and sells everything to get the field. That's the challenge for me. I need to sell everything in order to have Jesus solely. So the challenge is to be single-minded. In, in, in the life of Jesus, we never heard any self-pity or any selfishness. All we hear from Jesus is compassion, mercy, dignity, especially towards those in need. So the challenge is really to move towards Jesus, he's our treasure, and to accept him as, as the saviour that we have, as our confidant and as our friend, and then to live like him, to be compassionate, especially to those in need. So we pray, and we pray for those who have died, Pray particularly for those whose funerals took place in the past week, Kathleen Scandlin of Dune East, from Madeline Fitzmaurice of Sand Hill Road, and Mary Flynn of East End, all whose funeral took place in the past week. And for those whose anniversaries occur at this time, John Guiney, Jerome King, Angela, Matthew and Jane Gilmore, from Margaret and Jack O'Connor of Bally E, for the deceased members of the Morden family of Tullamore, for Sean Clark, for Mark the Buckley, whose first anniversary occurs at this time, and also for Liam, Thomas, Podrick, Patricia, and Kieran Buckley, for Kathleen and Michael Egan, and the deceased members of the Hartley and Conroy families, and somebody's special intention. So we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us to stay our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thank you for joining with me, and we will pray together and reflect together next weekend for the 18th Sunday of the year.